A friend of mine, a lot of people say one of the most powerful men in Europe, Nigel Farage. Come on up, Nigel. He's a very non-controversial person, too, right? That's what we're like. He's going. Come on, Nigel. He's very shy. Thank you. Oh, I'm non-controversial and shy compared to you. I gotta say, four years ago, I was honored to come to America to bring the Brexit message, the message that you can beat the establishment. And that is what Donald Trump did. He beat the pollsters, he beat the media, he beat all the predictions. And here's the worst bit, they've never forgiven him for it. They've never, ever forgiven him. They have spent four years trying to delegitimize him. Four years of the Russia hoax. Four years of a false impeachment. Most human beings, under that barrage, would have given up. This is the single most resilient and bravest person I have ever met in my life. Thank you very much. And when you vote next week, you are not just voting for who the President of the United States of America is, vital though that question may be. You are voting for the leader of the free world. You are voting, you are voting for the only current leader in the free world who has got the guts to stand up and fight for the nation state, to fight for patriotism, to fight against globalism. You'll be voting for the only leader in the Western world with the real courage to stand up to the Chinese Communist Party. You'll be voting. You'll be voting for decency, plain speaking, and a man who in four years hasn't just cut your taxes, hasn't just improved the economy, but a man who right now is bringing Israel together with Arab nations in a way that nobody ever believed was possible. And that's what he's done, and I wish you Godspeed. I really do. Thank you. Thank you, Nigel. That's something. Wow, thank you. I'm glad I called him up. I'm glad I can. Thank you very much, Nigel. That's something. He's responsible for a lot of things that have happened over in Europe. Very positive things, too. Thank you very much.